Hello and welcome to this detailed second look at the Caribbean island of Cuba's surviving steam sugarcane railways. The drive to stabilize Cuba's fragile economy with foreign currency earnings from tourism is beginning to pay off. And for the first time, the last few years have seen the revenue from tourist operations overtake the traditional number one export earner, sugar. Nevertheless, sugar is still vital to the well-being of a large proportion of Cuba's population. Castro's policy of employment for everyone means that virtually all rural communities rely directly or indirectly on the sugar industry. During the annual Zafra, or sugar harvest, it's a race to cut the cane at the optimum stage of ripening. Not everywhere has the benefit of mechanical cutters, and as we shall see, Hand cutting is still the only way to deal with the crop in some more remote areas. Sugar is grown in nearly all parts of Cuba, and the actual harvest time varies considerably. As well as the area and weather, many other factors play a significant part in the local timing of the sugar harvest. By no means least is the political pressure applied to reach arbitrary targets, which sometimes means sugar is even harvested before it's fully ripe when it's green. Cutting the cane is one thing, transporting it is another. Tractors or sometimes ox carts are okay for very short distances. After that, the bulk transport is down to the railways or sometimes convoys of trucks to get the cane to the nearest operational mill.